What's up guys, it's Chris here with Prestige Auto. Today we've got this 2008 Ford Fusion here in the garage. We're gonna be replacing the CV axle on this thing. Um, we've got a new one right here. It's not really hard to do, but we're gonna have to jack it up and take off this passenger wheel right here and remove a few other things to get access to it. So uh, let's gather our tools together and I'll show you guys how to change that thing. All right, guys, we got her lifted up. Got a jack stand under there. So you can see the boot on that axle there. See where the grease is coming out of it? It's busted, so it's no good. This process isn't too hard. Looks like first we're gonna have to remove the brake caliper here, and then we'll take off the rotor. Looks like there's a maybe two star bits there. All right. We're going to remove this center nut here also, and I'll get all the uh, sockets together and show you guys the size. Um, the, the size for the lug nuts to take the wheel off were a 19 millimeter. It looks like, I don't know, we, uh, we may have to take this tie rod end off and maybe that lower ball joint. I'm not sure. We're just going to get in there and, uh, and tackle it and see what's up. So, all right. Let's get to taking some stuff off. Like I said, first we're going to hit this brake caliper, then remove this rotor, remove that bolt there, and then we'll see where, what we need to do from there. Alright, so we had to take off the brake caliper. I think that was, uh, it was 15 millimeter. There was two of them, one there and one there. And then we had to, uh, I think these were, let me see, T40. There was two T40s going into the rotor holding it, holding it on. And then this center bolt here, the nut, was a 32. 32 millimeters to get that off now we didn't have to take the tie rod or the bottom ball joints off but we did have to take off the upper ball joint that was the easiest it was uh i think it was 17. it was a 17 millimeter we just had to bang the heck out of it with a hammer and uh finally it popped free and came down now that we've got this down you see we've got room you can push on the cv axle right here and get it to move so we're just going to pull back here and pop this thing out, and then we'll go up in there, and um, we should be able to stick like a little pry bar in there and just pop it off of the spline. See, this is the side that's going up in there. It just slides onto a spline, and this is the end we're dealing with right now. So see if we can't get this thing out of here. So that's what it looks like guys whenever you get it out I had to wrestle it just a little bit got to pull down on this and make some room I also went in there with this wheel speed sensor goes up it's eight millimeter and bolts on up in there I took that off just to give me some more slack with this it allowed <clears throat> it allowed this to come down more like that so we could pop it out now we're just gonna slide under there and look under there and we should be able to just wedge a little pry bar in there and pop this whole shaft out so let's go under there and take a look all right we're going to roll under here now so you can see what i see there's our cv axle right there so you can see where it was busted and let's just follow it up in here 
and looks like right there you can see where it joins in right there so we'll probably just take a pry bar and gently pry in there and try to pop this off so let's go out here and get a little pry bar and we'll set it up and see what we can do All right, so looks like we have to take off the lower ball joint also. We've uh, we've got the CV axle free, but there's not a big there's not a big enough space to get it out from right here. So we're going to take that take off this lower ball joint, and it is a uh, it's a 15 sixteenths. Let's hit it off, and we're going to have to take this whole knuckle off right here just so that we can get room to get it out. we got it out that wasn't too bad we just had to do a couple more things we didn't plan on there was a 15 16 on this right here we only had to take one off and drop this lower ball joint right here and then there was a it was a 15 that went through here that was holding on this we had to drop this down so that we could you can see the spine in there where the CV axle went but that knuckle just wasn't big enough or this gap wasn't big enough for the knuckle to come through so we had to drop it down no problem whenever we got all that down. We're just gonna line the new one up, slide it back through, stick it in there, get it to line up, um, pop it back on, put all this crap back together. All right guys, we're gonna put this new one in. You can see on this old one right here, the boot was busted and it's leaking oil out everywhere. So this thing is garbage, garbage. All right. So this is the end that needs to go back in there. This is your little, your little spline. It looks like on these splines there's two, like a, maybe a key goes through there. So make sure to look up in there and see if there's a key on yours. Some do, some don't. Um, this one don't. So it'll line up anyway. We're gonna, all right, you'll see here. See, this is why the last one wasn't fit because of that boot right there. So. This is why we took all that apart. Hold on, let me get the flashlight. Oh. Alright. So we just slid it through like that. Get it in there. Twist it around gently until you feel it line up on the on the gear. And then just wiggle it and get it in there. There's a little pin in there that you gotta wiggle it around just right for it to slip on. All right, we've got that new one in. We just had to line it up, you can see right there. So I didn't show you, but to get the last one off, I took like a flathead or a pry bar right there. And I took my hammer and just tapped it. And, and you can come in from this angle and I just tapped it it slid off there and then so the new one we just slid it in there and kind of popped it back in place so you can see in there we'll come back out here start putting all this junk back together get this job done Alright guys, we got it all wrapped up. 
Hope that helped you fix your CV axle. Mine looked like this. It was terrible. The boot was busting. Oil was coming out everywhere. So, hope that helped you. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll keep the videos coming. Thanks for watching.